Williamson. G'day, Heath. G'day, Catherine. Lovely to see you again. Good to see you. Now, you're a bit of a lighting superstar yourself, but just take me back to Expo 88. You were how old? I was, I was 15, and when Expo turned up, it was like Disneyland had arrived in Brisbane. And Brisbane was kind of felt a bit very much like a country town growing up at that age. So to see something that spectacular and so inspiring to land in your hometown, yeah, it was, it was, it was amazing. Of course, the truth of the matter is that you now organise the lighting for pretty well every major rock act that passes through Australia, through Brisbane. Is that about right? Oh, well, you uh, and Firefly our lights lighting? from our uh, company Firefly, yes. Of, yes, our lights are on tour with Coldplay, going around the world. Queen, Adele's got some of our lights around her stage. Yes, no, it's a lot of fun. So do you think as a 15-year-old 15, 15 boy, you were dazzled enough by the lights at Expo 88 to start to dream big? Do you think you would have had such a big dream if it weren't for Expo 88? It pushed me across the line. It was that inspiring. I've been pulling Christmas lights apart since I was in primary school. I used to stick fairy lights through the trees at home and my conservative naval ship's captain father would go, why would anyone stick fairy lights in a tree when it's not Christmas? And the next boat came along with trees all filled with fairy lights. Justified! And I went, justified, Dad. And, uh, and I, I, I kind of laugh now working with uh, the Brisbane City Council a lot and got a Graham Quirk and um, have, have been very receptive to putting some of the cool elements that I loved at Expo. So if you see all those trees around James Street in the city all filled with fairy lights, they're all our design. So it's good to see a little bit of the sparkle come back. That's you, you dazzling mm. so-and-so with a sparkle <laughs> in your eyes. Sparkle by name, sparkle by nature. Heath Williamson, though, 15 years old, 30 years ago. I don't want to do the math because you look about, you know, 21. I think I got my first kiss under the roller coaster, I think. <laughs> well, I wanted to know. <laughs> you know, the lights and the dazzlement were one thing, but what were some of the other mem memories that you hold still close to your heart now of Expo 88? It was probably my first real touch of amazing energy with people in a space, whether it be the concert, the fireworks, Megastar on stage. It was kind of the first big kind of that intense excitement in, in one spot. And I, I think it's probably been burnt into my brain why I still <laughs> now I just want to travel around and do rock concerts and get lost at festivals around the world just to keep that high from 1988. From being a teenager who saw those rock stars, big name acts came through Expo 88, your opportunity to see them, you might not have otherwise ever had in uh -huh. Brisbane, uh, to now working with some of the biggest names in the business. Is that surreal, just as surreal as Expo 88 might have been? It's totally surreal, yeah. No, I was, I was funny. A friend asked me the other day what was so surreal. I said, at Wembley uh, about two years ago, just standing on stage with Coldplay, walking out to stage and 92,000 people with those LED bracelets on, yeah, you just get that kind of going, what the hell am I doing here? I'm just a goober from Brisbane, but yeah, no. It's, <laughs> no it's a, it's but a, even Brisbane had Expo 88, and that's the point, Heath. We talk a lot about the the built legacy of Expo, the wonderful South Bank Parklands that we all now enjoy, mm. but for many young people, Expo also taught young Brisbaneites how to dream big, and you did, and you've achieved, so congratulations. You're a living example Thanks, of Expo's <laughs> legacy, frankly. Mm. Uh, speaking of performing arts, now I think it's fair to say that Expo brought a new love of the performing arts to the people who lived in Brisbane. A lot of people were yearning for more cultural experiences. They certainly got probably more than they were bargained for when it came to Expo. To this day, though, we have a very strong performing arts culture. We are broadcasting from a new stage that has been built here at South Bank, the Flow State stage, and you're joined now by one of the performers who will be putting on a show, what, a little later this afternoon, Michael Smith? Oh, not this afternoon. Maybe the chick, I've heard we're doing the chicken dance oh, this yes, afternoon. Oh, yes, we are. So. We are, indeed, <laughs> indeed. But you've been rehearsing here a performance that you're putting on for Flow State. What can yes. you tell us about it? Well, the performance, the project is called Cowboy, and so today is my first day in the space to play with some of the ideas. Basically, it's a piece about identity and how we form our identities and what we decorate ourselves in so I've chosen this character the cowboy because it's something that's I'm not or <laughs> it's something that's far from who I am so basically over the, two, the next two weeks I'm really committing to being this character to being the cowboy and seeing what comes out of that essentially um, and it's great to be rehearsing here in Flow State because it's an open space. Yes. So the public will be walking past and can come and interact at any time. And it kind of 
sh opens up and shares the process, which is a really important part of this work anyway. And the essence of Expo lives on. Performance yes. art at Expo was in the street performers and the wonderful marching bands and in various other forms. One of them, I think is fair to say, was in the vocal stylings of you, Karen Williams, now Mayor of Redland City Council, but then a performance artist at Expo. What was your job? <laughs> Well, it's a bit of a unique job that uh, brought a lot of pleasure to a lot of people drinking beer at the Fest House. Right. Most people don't recall it, but I was the resident yodeler at Fest House Expo 88. I was a much younger yodeler back then, uh, but it's, it's fair to say that we made lots of friends and uh, people here today, in fact, that worked at Fest House, uh, and it was a really great, fun place to be at Expo, and pretty much everybody went there. Not everyone remembered it. <laughs> I'm sure the yodeling would have been hard to forget. And, you know, you may say you were younger then, but I'm sure you've lost none of your, your verve and your vigour and your yodeling technique. Now, we're going to do the chicken dance very shortly, but, Karen, I thought it would be fabulous if you could lead us into the chicken dance with a bit of yodeling. yodeling. <laughs> Is happy, she yodels like this. Prairies and mountains will echo with bliss. And as she rides with those golden chains jingling beneath her chin, you'll have the happiest Lord Mayor that there's ever been. When the Lord Mayor is happy, she yodels like this. So you have to be very brave to be a yodeler, ladies and gentlemen. Karen Williams, Mayor of Redland City Council, the official yodeler for, from Expo 88's Munich Beer House Pavilion. It's coming up to five minutes to four. We're going to hit the chicken dance very shortly, and I'm going to invite all of the wonderful people who have come to join us here at the outside broadcast that us at the afternoon show at ABC Radio Brisbane have put together in celebration of the 30th anniversary of Expo 88. Now, the chicken dance was a huge, almost as important as the yodel. Is that right, Karen? I have to say that I've just talked... Was talking to someone that worked there and uh, by the end of Expo I have to say the one thing I never wanted to hear again was the chicken dance. <laughs> every 10 oh. minutes, Kat, every 10 minutes people pick up their beers, have a swag and then do the chicken dance. So it's embedded in my memory forever unfortunately. Well let's do a quick refresher for those who weren't there as to actually how the chicken dance used to go. It was a little bit of the cheap 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 with your fingers and then of course you've got to flap your arms and then do a little waddle waddle and then clap 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 clap. So I think we'll hopefully be swinging our partners round and round and all of this wonder and magic will be leading us right into the news at four o'clock. This is ABC Radio Brisbane. My name is Catherine Feeney. This has been a an exquisite, I hope you'll agree, extravaganza and celebration of one of the most significant events that our city has ever enjoyed, Expo 88. Today marks the 30th anniversary. It was six months of partying, of celebration, of arts, of music, of joy and friendship and harmony. And I'm sure you'll all agree that in this day and age, there's some pretty important messages to share. So it's been my delight, my privilege and my pleasure to broadcast to you from South Bank. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a little bit of a chicken dance.